Okay, further to my last video, I'm in focus stacking mode. To do that, you can either set it to a custom setting or you can just simply go to menu, the advanced shooting menu number two, bracketing, and you can turn that on. Okay, you go down to focus bracketing or actually you can just go up and it comes to the bottom of the menu on focus stacking on now I'm gonna this time set a smaller focus differential I'm going to go down to three I had five shots last time on the focus differential not three five gap of five and I was at f5.6 I believe was I, there? I was at 5.6 now I'm going to go for f8 this time to get more depth of field in each shot and I'm actually going to go for two for the focus differential because knowing that when you stop down further it actually increases the focus differential no matter what you've set here so i'm going to go for two and i'm going to see what happens now i've got eight shots remember there are eight shots on here see where they go ah. now that looks like it should all come out in focus now let's see what we've got the shot is much better this time okay it's much better if you choose a stop down aperture and a smallish focus differential so there's the front guess what the answers are not in focus or are they yeah on shot number five they're in focus so i'm going through the shots here and they're nice and sharp there six seven eight and the back of the flower is pretty much in focus on the last shot probably need to have a slightly bigger focus differential just one point higher than that okay so let's let's do it again but you see you've got there are no real out of focus or blurred points on this flower now. Okay, I just want to tweak that maybe up to three. And I think that should be enough. So we're focusing on the front of the flower. Okay, are we? Yes, we are. And the flower's vibrating, and we don't want that to vibrate. But it's going to do it anyway. And I'm, this is doing it slowly because I've put a one second time interval in between each shot. Okay. For the flash, even though I'm not using a flash. Okay. And I'm on a tripod on the table. But of course, if the tripod's on the same table as the flowers and you press the shutter, everything vibrates. Okay, let's have a look at those shots. So there was, you can tell the, the previous stacked images is cropped slightly, okay? It's the only real way you can tell the difference. Okay, now, first image, ooh. See, it's vibrating a little, isn't it? One, two, three, that's sharp. Four, five, six, seven. It shifted a little to the left. Eight. And here's the final image. And it's pretty much in focus. Yeah, that's pretty sharp now. You can see the detail, you can see the texture. Now I'm pleased with that image, that's much better, but even the back edge isn't quite in focus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down a little bit more in aperture just to be 
a mischief. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this a tiny bit further away. So that comes up a little bit higher in the image. Okay. So that I can focus on that a little better. And I'm going to stop down. Okay. I've got everything set as I want it. I'm going to actually stop down to, I'll say to F11. Let's say F10. See if that makes any difference. And you see it's actually now, even with the same focus differential, it's going beyond the end of the flower. So there's our previous stacked image, which is pretty decent. And now we're starting at the front of the flower. Two, three, four, five. You can see the anthers are in focus. Six, seven. And the back of the flower's in focus there. And we're starting to get some of this foliage in focus as well. Final image. Final cropped image. Yeah, pretty much everything's in focus there. Now that's a pleasing image. And again, we've got the textures and we've got the actual edge of the flower is in focus this time as well. It wasn't quite at F8. Okay. It almost was, but it wasn't quite as sharp as it is. On the last image. There. Okay. So, I would say choose a fairly stop down aperture to give you enough depth of field and choose a relatively narrow um, focus increment. So, I mean, I was on two, three, three for the focus differential on a scale of one to ten. Remembering that at F11, it will actually jump focus a lot further than it does at F2.8, say. Okay. Um, so this is kind of an arbitrary scale. This is kind of actually... This is kind of actually saying how much kind of depth of field are you willing... Or how much depth of field loss are you willing to tolerate okay because if you have it up at 10 you know it's like you're trying to get the image to infinity um but at a narrow aperture it's not going to get to infinity at a wide aperture it, uh, sorry at a, at wide open it's not going to get to infinity um or anywhere near it's not going to get very far um stop down it will get you quite a distance but the if you like, the increments the, the, the increments are probably going to be larger than the depth of field that you have. So you're going to get blurred areas in between. So, yeah, using 10, I think, is a bit risky. For that image, 3 and F11. F8 was pretty good as well. Um, but, I mean, let's say, let's just do something else. Okay, let's go for 10. And stop it down. This may be a complete waste of time. No, we'll stop. We'll actually open the aperture up now to about F2.8. Um, let's say F4. See what happens. It may contradict me and give me a perfect image this time. Okay, here we have F4. So at F4, with a focus differential of 10, it's doing about the same as it does. It's getting to the back of the flower practically, oh, and beyond. It's doing about the same as it did at F11 with a focus differential of about 3. 
Let's have a look at the final image. Is the final image in focus? Yeah, it's kind of. Yeah, actually, that's not too bad. But you can see that we've got some areas that are not in focus. Because you've got a little depth of field on each shot. And then you've got a big differential. So you're going to have areas in between that are not quite in focus. So let's say you might, one shot might be in front of the anthers and the other shot might be behind. And they're not quite in focus, are they? They're almost in focus, but there are some parts of the flower that are perhaps not quite in focus. Okay, this bit here is not quite in focus, it's blurred, yeah? And I don't really think we had that on the F F11 shot. No, we didn't, you see. Everything was pretty sharp on the F11 shot. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's see what this says. See what details this gives us. It doesn't tell us it's focus stack, does it? Oh, it's F10, actually, not F11. But that's near enough. Okay, so F10 with a focus differential of 3 was a lot better than F4 with a focus differential of 9 or 10, yeah? Um, because you've got some slightly out of focus areas in between the different stacked images. And with F10... Everything's in focus, pretty much. I think it's fair to say. It's better anyway. Okay, that's the end of my second focus stacking video. And this was all done on an EM10 Mark III, the 60mm macro lens okay and I put focus stacking actually on the custom you've only got one custom setting unfortunately it's a pity you haven't got two or three but one is better than zero